Veronica. Oh, oh no. What? Veronica, is, uh -oh. is that you? Oh, no. Well, she was there. I know, you guys, if you can believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It is me, but are you ready? Look at this. Oh. <laughs> it is so cool. And if you can believe it, Tyler Maine, you're to are you totally used to wearing these by now? You get used to it after a while, yeah. Okay, very cool. So, <laughs> it gets a little warm though, doesn't it? It does. Well, we're gonna keep track to see how long I can last. Cause what's the longest you've ever worn one of these for? Uh, about a half hour okay. or so. So yeah, boy, this looks like I'm talking to my mini me. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't I? I'm Tyler Maine's mini me today, friends. Oh, it's my goodness. So you are in town. I know folks are so excited to see you this weekend. What are you going to be doing? Yeah, we're doing, you know, the signing here at the uh, um, Barton Manor. Is Barton Manor, right? Yes. We're at the Barton Manor. And um, I am here promoting my graphic novel that we're doing, Imagine Sons of Anarchy Meets True Detective with the Human Trafficking Theme. So doing the research for the book, I decided to help out human trafficking awareness organizations. So what I did was called Trick or Treat Studios, who has made these masks that will be released in October, and they sent them to me early. And what we're doing is we're doing photo ops in the suit with these masks, and one lucky fan will win all these masks. Plus, I was going to say, there's, there's more. more. The masks by themselves are super cool. The amount of detail, the artistry that goes into them, but this really brings this, everything together. Someone will also be getting wearing, getting this jumpsuit that I'm wearing for the photo op. See, look at how big this is. You could hide behind it. Oh, no, we that. could. We are totally going to hide behind it right now. <laughs> <laughs> because you absolutely could. So, one and lucky this was fan. This made by Teddy Cosplay, uh -huh. which is from H1 after the first kill. So... So a fan out there watching this right now is rubbing their hands together saying, I'm going to get these. Yeah, you can buy raffle tickets for them for extra chances to win. You can come down and buy a photo op. Part of the proceeds are going to deliverfund.org for the photo ops, and all of the raffle ticket money is going straight to Deliver Fund. So you have been in several movies. You've played several characters. No doubt you have raised awareness to several different causes. What made you choose human trafficking? Well, it's because of the book. You know, with doing the research for the book, I decided I wanted to give back and help out the communities because there's just horrific stuff going on with the human trafficking. It happens in everybody's backyard, you know, and people don't realize that. It's like out of sight, out of mind. So this is kind of my way to help bring awareness to it and help an organization raise funds to uh, fight the cause. Absolutely. Well, like you said, it's something that happens in our backyard, something that could happen to so many people in our community. Right. And when you think about not only are you raising awareness, but you get to be here to continue to interact with people who love you, who come to see you. This has to be really cool for you. Yeah, it's just fantastic to get to meet all the people, all the fans, you know, from from all the things that I've done. But and to tell them about the uh, graphic novel that we're doing. So, yeah. Is there a date for when that graphic novel is supposed to come out? We're going to be launching it mid-October. So, but we're doing promotions like this to lead up to it, to help raise awareness and promote the, the graphic novel. We, the graphic novel is written by Christopher Priest, who wrote The Black Panther, uh, Punishers, and Vampirella comic books. We've got Will Conrad doing art. This is some of the art from the graphic novel right here. We've got Jimbo Salgado doing interior art. We've got Michael Montanant. And we've got a lot of people doing some really cool wild covers for it. So I'm very, very excited. It's going to be a top-level book. Absolutely wonderful. We'll have more information for you about that book on foxdetroit.com. Super fast. Are you going to be here today and tomorrow or just today? I'm going to be here today and tomorrow. So come on down and see me. Couldn't have said it better myself, friends. All right, we'll have more information for you on foxdetroit.com. Everything starts in just a little bit. So I know you guys, Liz, Charlie, I'm sure you're having a blast back at the station, kind of, you know, lovingly making fun of me this morning, but we are having a total blast out here. So we'll send it back to you.